Hi everyone, it's Brian. In this video, I want to review this book, Geometry, the second edition by Brandon, Epsplin, and Gray. So this is a book, um, if you're interested in learning geometry, either at the undergraduate level or maybe even the graduate level, I used this book in my graduate geometry class last semester. And let's just take a look at what's in here. So this book covers things beyond what you would really think about in maybe in high school or even a beginner level geometry class, it really gets into the theory and proofs of geometry. It starts off by talking about conics, a uh, really important concept in geometry, sort of applies to all the other areas of geometry, or at least many other areas of geometry study conics. So conics are things like hyperbolas, ellipses, parabolas. Then it goes to talk, on, talk about affine geometry and projective geometry. Projective geometry is really interesting because that's the type of geometry used in many paintings and portraits today. So if you ever took um, an art class, you might have talked about a vanishing point off at infinity and all lines sort of go to that vanishing point or intersect at that vanishing point. And uh, that's the type of math that we actually talk about. It goes on to talk about something called immersive, ge immersive, can't even say it, geometry, hyperbolic geometry and elliptic geometry. Maybe you've heard of those things. Those are like the sort of geometries where the, the sum of the three angles in a triangle don't necessarily add up to 180 degrees. So we start talking about things where you're changing the fifth postulate in Euclid's elements. Really, really cool stuff. As far as the structure of this book, uh, it's very readable. So I like this book. I've said it in some of my other videos that I really like books that you can teach yourself and you can read it. You can read it like a book, sort of. It's not one of those really heavy math books that it's very difficult to get through. You can read this. Uh, it's, it's very much set up in a familiar way where the important things are highlighted and they give problems and examples right after it, or maybe they give a proof right after it. I love books like that, that are set up in a way that are very intuitive. Uh, it's a very black and white book. Um, the, the pages are very well written though. Very well written. Um, also very, very durable, at least this copy is. Uh, I've seen the author, author make a couple jokes in here. That's always nice when a mathematician can joke about their um, joke about their subject. Uh, here's some projective geometry stuff. It's pretty cool. Talks about how our eyes actually see the world as like a two-dimensional projection of a three-dimensional object. It's pretty cool stuff. Uh, and then a little bit later in the book starts talking about even more interesting things. You need to use some complex analysis later. Really, really interesting stuff. So if you're looking for a book um, to teach you geometry, something that you can read that that you'd want to take after you get through your entry level math classes. So again, this, this book kind of assumes you've gotten through calculus and maybe a proof class or two. Uh, you wouldn't take this until maybe your junior or senior year of college. Um, but if you're ambitious, you can you can learn before it. I mean, anyone can learn this stuff. Uh, but it's a good book if you're looking to learn geometry a little bit more in depth um, and get a more mathematical perspective of geometry and what geometry really means to a mathematician. If you're interested in uh, looking at this one a little further, I'll throw a link in the description. You can check it out for yourself. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was a book that maybe you've never seen before and maybe you're slightly interested in. <laughs> Please give me a like. I'd appreciate a subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.